Good morning guys and girls and thank you for watching ASFN. Remember to subscribe please and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video and also like the videos if it's something that you enjoyed or learned from. Um, that's what we do and what we stand for is to share as much knowledge with you guys as possible. Oh, close to 1,700 videos on our channel already and multiple facets. Um, so yes guys, that's what we're about and what we stand for. And I hope you guys learn something out of it. And if any of these things help you and you catch more fish or you get a good fish, remember to send it to grindelite at asfn.co.za. All right, now today I'm touching on a proper chain gang trace for shad. Again, another shad trace. As they use in Australia, Taylor, they call them there, and bluefish in America. And uh, what you'll need is a small, this is size 5 split ring. All right. Uh, size 5 power swivel, then the Mustad 4826TD, the Kendall Round, a 1 -0. that again is our carrying hook to carry our bait and sardine. And then the hooks I'm using is stainless steel, this is the 340070 stainless steel. And that I use specifically because this trace you can use over and over again. This trace, guys, specifically if you're going to keep and eat the fish, because even using it for, for live bait fishing, your fish will be damaged and not it will not be a great live bait. So this is for the guys that really go out, they catch their shad to eat, um, how they use it uh, in Australia. So no steel needed, no piano wire for this. And you'll start off by taking a split ring. Let's just get one out. You're going to need uh, split ring pliers to make this easy. You can struggle on with something else and you'll need some heat shrink. Okay. So now the first little section is probably the biggest challenge and that's getting your holding hook, your first hook, as well as your swivel onto the split ring. Okay. A little mustard splittering plier, they're very nice. And what works even better if you if you use hooks with a with a nice big eye, it works very very well for this. I'll just use some Q20 on my uh, spirit ring plier, so my hands are nice and oily. Okay, that's the start of your trace. Add a swivel to that. Tricky with all the hooks. Let's see the concentration. Is it enough? Okay. And there you have it. Okay, this is to hold the bait just under here, where you stick it under the, the actual sardine, and this one goes on the side as well. And then from there, you'll be cutting short pieces of shrink wrap. I'm going to use a lighter, but before we do that, just take long nose pliers and I bend the hook's bob ever so slightly in. Obviously, you don't need to do the last hook. You do need to do this one. Here we go. All right. 
Then what we're going to do, put the shrink wrap on each hook. Hot water works best for this. To shrink it. And then we start. You start working the front of the hook through the back, like that. Work its way through. Okay, gents. That is your chain gang for fishing for shad, tailor, or bluefish. And this you'll just stick and literally take your sardine, again, my knife sardine, you'll hook the head in the front and you'll use this and just stick it into the flesh of your sardine or your bait. You'll just stick it in and this doesn't miss a fish, obviously. Now the ready-made ones in South Africa, we don't find them in our shops, but in uh, Australia, Every shop keeps them as ready-made shad chain gangs. So it works very well with the stainless steel 4-0s, the long shanks. And just for reference, 34007SS is the hooks I actually used for this. So this is a guaranteed trace. You do not miss a shad with that. But like I suggested in the beginning of this video, is don't use any trace like this if you want to release shad or use them for live bait. This is purely when you go out, to catch them. Now in South Africa we have a regulation on shad and their size limits. So I would not advise this trace unless you know it's bigger shad around, okay? Because if you catch a shad that's undersized you could very well be damaging that fish and then by releasing it it's got a very small chance of survival. Alright and another thing you see this hook I used, you can use a much shorter shank and a smaller one that will make this trace a bit more practical than what you see here. Because that's almost, as you can see lengthwise, a bit long. You want it half that length. A smaller hook that just holds the sardine underneath its uh, mouth here. But guys, thank you for watching and this is just one of those additional little extra traces. Maybe the guys in Australia can use it because I know they do uh, fish with this quite often and uh, yeah remember any comments and suggestions of things you guys want to see make them below remember to subscribe to our channel hit the bell button for notifications as we load a minimum of five videos a week also like the videos um, that really helps us with all YouTube algorithm thank you for watching and we see you soon in the next video